Mr. Mixer at Garage Band Guru talking about drum techniques again. One of the most important techniques that is documented on the online manual but is barely uh, demonstrated on the internet is the two finger rhythm technique. So before I show you what that is, let's remember that if you go over here to the wrench up here to bring down the menu and you have the tempo here that this tempo number can be changed here slowly or more spittily if you take your finger and tap to the tempo you want. For example, if you want a nice rock and roll tempo, it's probably going to be a little over 100 uh, beats per minute, but you can do it with your finger like this. Notice how the number changed on the right? Which is very good for imitating a certain beat that you have in a song that you'd like. Okay, so let's close the tempo button and the menu. Now this technique is based on that tempo. You have to put both fingers together closely. Watch what happens when you put them together on one of the toms. Now it's going to give you that same rhythm that you just set up, which was 140 or so. Now, if you want it to be louder, Take your right finger or your left finger and move it up. Notice that the beat changed also because I separated my fingers. So separation of fingers brings the tempo up, doubles it I believe, and then if you bring it back to where you were, then it will go back to what you started with. So it's, it's handy if you want to keep the volume where it is, change the tempo, Go back to the original tempo, change the volume, down with the volume with the finger move, go back to where you started. What's nice too is that this can be shifted over anywhere on the screen to make room for other taps or swipes with your other hands, fingers, and whatnot. So, 